and welcome back to my channel Lydia Rose. If you don't already know me, my name is Lydia and I am recovering from an eating disorder. I am doing another challenge video today where my Instagram followers, here is my Instagram, pick what I eat for a day. It's a very popular thing to do so I thought I would do it and I especially needed it right now which I will go into after I have gone through the options of what there was to eat you know. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to voiceover Lydia from the future editing this right now at 11 o'clock at night. So for breakfast the choice was between pancakes or oatmeal. For snack one, the choice was between hummus and crackers or toast and jam. For my first part of lunch, the choice was between soup and bread or a sandwich. For lunch part two, the choice was between pasta salad or lentil salad. For dessert, the choice was between two biscuits or a Greek yogurt. For my second snack of the day, the choice was between cake in a mug or cereal. For dinner, the choice was between homemade curry or homemade macaroni. For dessert, the choice was between chocolate pudding or a bowl of ice cream. And finally, for a nighttime drink, the choice was between hot chocolate or a decaffeinated cappuccino so that I could challenge liquid calories at night. I also wanted to quickly thank anyone who was on my Instagram and voted and made this whole video possible. Thank you. Okay, so now you know what the choices are, I'm going to go in and tell you why I am doing this challenge and why it's particularly important that I do it today and not tomorrow. So pretty much I have been doing this whole real recovery thing for like about a week. <laughs> I was looking at photos last night of myself, which I don't know why. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea and um, I compared them to how I look now and obviously I've gained quite a bit of weight to be honest for one week. I was a bit shocked. <laughs> I've not weighed myself, I'm not going to, but I did have a mini breakdown, which you can see in my recovery diaries, which is on my IGTV if you're interested. I'm not going to then say, well, I don't need to do this challenge today, I can do it another day, because that's just like putting off my recovery. And I've been in recovery for about six months now. Uh, I really properly committed last week. So I need to keep this going. I don't want this momentum to go. I need to keep motivated. So I'm surrounding myself with po positive energy on my Instagram. I've unfollowed accounts that weren't really helping me. So why would I subject myself to seeing that? Um, like I've just sorted myself out a bit. And I've told my friends and family that I'm properly doing it this time. And like that's holding me accountable. So like I am actually really, really invested in this now so I had my breakfast this morning which to no surprise was pancakes and right now I've just had my English literature zoom lesson and I'm going to um, have a look at what I'm going to be having for a snack so for snack number one today it was between hummus and crackers or toast and jam I should have said jam on toast like who says toast and jam? It is 37% for hummus and crackers, 63% for toast and jam. So I'm gonna go and make myself some toast and jam and then vlog on my phone for the rest of the day. And you guys will see how the rest of my day goes. I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, please remember to subscribe and follow my Instagram because I'm very active on there. And I hope that if you're struggling, this video helps you a little bit. I'm quite scared to give it a control. Ooh. I'm nearing the end of my fourth year. I feel like I've been lacking, crying too many tears. Everyone seemed to say it was so great. But did I miss out? Was it a huge mistake? I can't help the fact I like to be alone It might sound kind of sad, but that's just what I seem to know So, good morning. I 
just made a small, more quite a large, a stack of pancakes because there are still four pancakes left, but I'm leaving them for my family. I have three with some syrup and raspberries on, and I'm gonna enjoy them now and eat them. And I also have a cappuccino. So that's what my breakfast is this morning. You guys chose this. So well done. I keep collections of masks upon my wall To try and stop myself from revealing it all Affecting others is the last thing I would do I keep to myself though I want to break through I hold so many small regrets And what if's down inside my head Some confidence it couldn't hurt me I have got two slices of toast with two different types of jam on. One is strawberry and one is, I think it's gooseberry. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what it is. It wasn't labelled. It's like a homemade one that some grandparent probably made. Love my grandparents. Uh, I did my makeup today because I always do when I have Zoom calls. <laughs> Even though we don't see each other, because we just kind of talk with the mics on, but like don't look at each other. But I still have them on. I'm gonna watch some YouTube now and eat these pieces of toast. I'm feeling pretty good. I was not feeling good last night. Bad body image is a thing. I still have it, but I just gotta keep going. Like I can't give up. I'm not giving. I'm not giving up this time. of you said that I should have a sandwich for part one. For part two, I should have pasta salad and for dessert, I can't remember, let me go have a look. <laughs> for dessert, it was two biscuits, which is actually the easier option out of them. Like the rest you've all picked really hard things, but the two biscuits, like, I don't know why, but it's easier than a Greek yogurt for me. So I kind of need that though. I am so stressed because I went on Instagram, obviously, to go and get these results. Um, but I kind of scared myself because like slowly I'm going through and I'm following people that I compare myself to and like I convince myself that I'm not worth recovery because I'm not as skinny as these people anymore. And that's not their fault. <laughs> It's, like, it's my brain that's doing this. It's, like, they can keep posting, like, it's fine. But, like, I saw some of these people and I just unfollowed them because they just come off my feed and then I will slowly get through and unfollow all of them. But it just made me scared for all the food that I'm eating. And the first thing I'm gonna do is put some pasta on to boil. I don't know what I'm gonna have. I think I'm gonna make, like, this dressing thing that I have cook up some spinach put that in as well the dressing is oil guys so it's pretty pretty intense um some peas as well i think and put some garlic on top because i love some garlic i will show you when i've done it so here is the lunch this is pasta with veggies and oil based dressing a little sandwich that i decided to toast it looks kind of gross and two biscuits like you guys ordered and a nice big glass of water it's a good lunch <laughs>
back and now I'm finishing some work that I've been working on all day. I've been working on it all day and I've not finished it. I'm such a slow worker I've found. I'm gonna power through this, hopefully finish it by about half five. Because I have planned it, it's just a case of writing it out. So I don't really have to think anymore. And then finish everything else on the list. So I just changed into my pyjamas. I've not taken my makeup off yet, but it's dinner now. You guys chose mac and cheese. So my sister made it, I think. challenge liquid calories at night because that is when I find it hardest uh, so you guys today picked a hot chocolate so that is what I'm doing tonight um, I started off the day with pretty bad body image wasn't feeling too good this morning after my little breakdown last night um, basically I'm gonna show you guys now if I didn't already at the start of the video I can't remember if I did or not so this is me nine days ago and this is me last night and I think it just scared me that I put on weight that fast but today I have realized something that I didn't actually put weight on that fast it was because the first one was taken at the start of the day as you can see it's bright the second one was taken at the end of the day and I've just and I like Check to see if it was the same this morning and it wasn't it was closer to what I had nine days ago it wasn't like nine days ago it was like in the middle of the two but closer to how it had been nine days ago and I think I just realized that it's water retention like my thighs just swell up because I checked again tonight just to like not in a disordered way but like to see if my theory was correct and I genuinely believe because I look again like I did last night I genuinely believe my thighs just swell up like they, d they won't look like that in the morning and it's just my body adapting to the food intake all of a sudden and I have no problem with looking like the second photo anymore obviously I am I was a bit shocked but I don't have a problem with it because that was the goal from the start and I'm just kind of reassured to know that it's it's not that quick of a change because I was like I will adapt to it slowly as my body slowly changes and I was just scared because it was changing a lot faster than I had expected and when I say a lot faster like I thought I would look like the second photo like two months down the line I was like that like <laughs> whoa but I have not weighed myself I've not body checked other than that today like I've not been sat there doing my normal like check for my wrists are this small my arms this small like I've not done that um I'm not moving around too much obviously because it's quarantine so that's kind of helping with like any exercising that I did have because I definitely started the start of quarantine with like this workout plan and this whole like thing going on that wasn't healthy so I'm glad that that's all sorted um I had I had like quite a good day giving like control to complete like strangers not that you're strangers because I kind of know a lot of you but I don't know you well enough to know what you would pick 
So it was quite interesting. I had some surprises. I thought you'd all pick the curry, but you all picked macaroni cheese, which was fine. So I did it all. I completed the entire challenge. I've got my hot chocolate. So yeah, um, I'm trying to do like maybe one or two videos every week. So if you have anything that you want me to talk about or any other challenges, please leave them in the comments. Um, if you did like this video, then please like. If you like all of this, please subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. And yeah, uh, thank you for watching if you got this far. <laughs> um, I will see you guys maybe not next week, maybe earlier the next week. But I will see you guys again soon, I promise.